to take over from Carver in the summer. Now the netball Super League season gets underway this weekend for Team Northumbria, the region's only franchise. Sixth last year, the opening game is a tough one at home to Mighty Bath. There's a multinational look to the current squad with women from the home nations, joined by exciting talent from Australia, New Zealand and Namibia. Qualified PE teacher Nick Stiles will have to put job hunting and thoughts of a master's degree on hold when she lines up for her new team at Northumbria University's Sports Central on Saturday evening. She's already found sightseeing in Tynemouth, much colder than her native Sydney. But how did the tall Australian come to be here? A couple of the Aussie girls have came over and played. Two of them went to Northumbria a couple of years ago. So I heard about them and I just set my highlights reel over and thought, um, fingers crossed they want to have me and thank God they did. Fellow defender and team captain Leah Kennedy, originally from Darlington, says the increase in the number of live televised matches has had a big impact on the sport's profile. Yeah, definitely. And just to, to recognise netball as a, as a prominent sport now, whereas back in the day everyone used to just think of it as, oh, I played that at school, it's not very exciting, whereas now they think, oh yeah, I've watched it on TV, it was a good match, it was very competitive, so it's good, yeah. The head coach, meanwhile, would like to see netball performance hubs extended beyond the three in Bath, Manchester and London, so Tyneside doesn't miss out on homegrown international players. We're hoping that all the Super League branches come hubs for the girls, so then we've got a mass majority of England players going to um, any university that they want, so hopefully they'd come to Team Northumbria. Mark Tulip, BBC Look North, Newcastle. Three, one, two, three, no! Team Spirit, excellent. Now, Paul, I see the snow in the globe, so that's what we've got coming. Yes, a return to winter. Yes, the next 12 hours sees a return to much colder conditions. Over the next few days, we will see uh, some gusty winds making it feel bitterly cold and snow will feature in the forecast as well, but not just yet. Things uh, a wee bit milder overnight tonight, so a lot of cloud around, outbreaks of rain becoming more widespread as we head through the evening, especially in the west, some heavy bursts for a time, but it shouldn't be too cold tonight. Temperatures no lower than about three or four Celsius, although those uh, west to southwesterly winds will become very strong and gusty. Now very quickly tomorrow morning, that band of cloud and rain moves away south and east, and with a Met Office warning out for the risk of snow showers becoming a problem through tomorrow, tomorrow night and right through Thursday as well. So as the rain clears away it's replaced